Hey everyone, I want to make this very clear, in no way is this a guide, a friend asked me to make a Melee Racks video of the current rotation, so that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm still learning Melee Racks myself, but as you can tell by my KC, I'm not the best at it. I'll do my best to explain the kill, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll also link an actual Racks guide down in the description. Due to this not being a guide, I won't go in depth into the inventory and gear setup. Here's what I use, however, along with a yak full of food while learning. You could use a Zerk Aura, however, I don't recommend it if you're learning racks. If you got a sweaty PR and insanely good at racks, click off the video because I'm nothing close to that. Also, I recommend learning racks on path 2 and 3 when minion path is closed. Once you understand the mechanics, then go ahead and try path 1 for an hour. Like every rack skill, start off by burning the web to the path you want to take. When using melee, you want to be very careful with the web mechanic. Every time you hit racks while it's webbed, you'll reflect damage to yourself at the start of most kills I anticipate in case it cleaves first. If you get pulled in, however, spam click away but be sure not to click on a minion. You could possibly click on your map, but the cleave is a fast attack and I don't recommend it. Also, anticipation will help you break out of the cocoon faster when that happens. It's best to click on racks unless the minions are out because you definitely don't want to mirror back yourself to death's office. You can resonance the start of the web and when Rax throws out the minions to avoid at least one hit. Use anticipation or freedom to break from attack in Rax and always make sure your auto retaliation is off. When I take path 1 I skip to phase 3 that'll heal Rax for the remaining HP it had from phase 2. The way that you can tell when minions spawn is when Rax looks like it throws out a bunch of little black spiders. Below its health bar is a yellow image that tells you how many minions are left. After that's gone no more mirror backs or pulsing spiders should spawn. I also don't go into the light on low and rage, I'd rather DPS it down faster. But if you're learning, I recommend going into the light as much as possible to save on food. DPS racks down until you hit phase 4. On phase 4 it gets a bit more intense and I recommend having a scythe for range, but even then you have to pay attention to the prey flicking and move one step back if you get in the melee distance. The small dark green attack is a range attack, the light green attack is a magic attack. If not all special minions are killed before P4, racks can spawn them in P4. DPS racks down to 50% HP to stop special attacks like the minions, the cleave, the web, and the cocoon. At 25% HP, racks will spawn an acid wave similar to Corpse's Core. It'll jump around the arena, and when it lands on you, it'll damage you. But instead of running around like a chicken like me, try to avoid it correctly and only move when it's about to jump under you. Once Rax flips over, put your Luck of the Dwarves on and click the body, and congratulations, you killed Rax. If the Enrage gets to be a little too much, Use a pheromone and reset the enrage. Now let's talk about path 3. Like normal you want to light the web and deal with the web, the cleave and the cocoon mechanics, DPS it down to like 5k, surge or run towards the next path. Once you get there it'll get dark and you'll have a small light. You want to run or surge to the light as quick as possible because the longer you're in the dark the more damage you take over time. You also want to stand on the eggs when they spawn you have a little bit of time to get to them but I definitely recommend standing on them to avoid a 1-3k to 3K hit. You do this until Rax charges you. The easiest way to do this is click the direction the legs are on to avoid the hit. But if the legs are low, you press up. If the legs are close together, you press down. You do this until the wall breaks. If done right, it should take one hit. On low and rage, if done wrong, it should take two. After you do this, you'll be on P3 again. Same rules apply. Watch out for the minions, the webs, the cleaves, the darkness, and the cocoons. Unlike the other path, Rax won't heal because you did the second phase. The only time it heals is when it's webbed. Alright, so if you're still watching this video, path 4 is the same, nothing new to explain. Just watch out for the same mechanics as before and you'll do just fine. If Rax is dead, put on your luck of the dwarves and congratulations you killed Rax on path 1 and 3. Top path gives you top leg, the middle path is currently closed in this video but Middle path gives you the middle leg and the bottom path gives you the bottom leg. Good luck and I hope this video helps. I'll see you on the next one.